Well, hello. Huh. That's odd. The package just arrived, and I don't know why. What the hell? Treble hooks. Trout treble hooks. But I have treble hooks. Guys, real freaking split ring pliers. Oh dude, I appreciate this. And it's got like wire cutters on it. And not quite sure what the heck this hole's used for, but it's got that on it too. Got a bunch of shit on it. Well, that's pretty sweet. Okay, that's gonna come in handy. I friggin' knew it. I knew I got treble hooks in that friggin' package. I freaking knew it. Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another one of these skiving vlogs of mine. I just got back from the pharmacy and I was rooting through footage all afternoon while working to see, I, I didn't name the video right where I got um, the thing, where I got the package through the mail slot in the garage. I labeled it my first... <laughs> Would it be an intro to a vlog if Oreo didn't start honking? Oh, here we go, round two. You're good? Okay, he's probably good now. So it wouldn't be, anyway, um, I labeled it weird. I labeled it my first build to catch in one day or my first one day. So I couldn't find it because the, the word DIY and lure were not in the friggin' in the, in the description. So I couldn't, I had no idea what I was looking for. So I went back in the timeline, back in the timeline, back to about May and that's when I found it. It was sitting right there in front of my face. My first build to catch and I failed it because I didn't catch shit. And I ended up wrapping the lure in foil, painting the top black, the bottom white foil on the sides but because of the weight of the lure she wouldn't sink so it kind of did this walk the dog pathetically on the top water so it was no good and I didn't have a lip in it which is something I'm going to try and fix this year when I make crankbaits I'm going to actually go out and buy polymer or uh, like a piece of acrylic you can get it at Home Depot for super cheap you can buy a piece of plexiglass for like 10 bucks and you can make like freaking 100 lips out of that so that's what we're going to do this spring but right now what i'm looking for is, is my drill out here because yeah i watched that video and my drill's right there and we're gonna need that because of what, what i'm about to do i watched that video and the package comes in through the mail slot and i'm like well you, you've seen it in the beginning and then i unbox it and inside was the uh the beads weren't in there the beads that's something else that must be dollar store beads and that think fish container that you saw in the previous video that was from all the lures that i got from think fish last year for ice fishing i ended up putting all the ice fishing tackle in one small box that you saw on the ice fishing video from uh, from Sunday and then I put um, all the uh, the beads in there to keep them organized because before they're in bags and they're falling out of the bags and stuff and it was kind of a mess so there were treble hooks and they're all different sizes from small to large I don't know the gauges I couldn't tell you if I wanted to so that's a thing anyway guys um, as for going to the pharmacy oh yeah there's my bandage I was gonna say did my band-aid fall off there's my freaking needle hole Covered up by a piece of plastisol or elastoplast or whatever the frig they use. Got the booster. I know a lot of people are against it. Everybody has their own choice. I had to get it for work. So I got it for work. Pharmacist's like, oh, how are you after your first two shots? And I'm like, fine. My arm hurt a little bit, but I'm like, this shit won't kill me. And he's like, okay. He goes, well, you're probably going to sleep all day tomorrow. And I'm like, good thing I got a lot of coffee at home. And he just laughed. I'm not expecting any outcome. However, what I am expecting is we're going to head out to the garage right now because I think I want to hang that shelf up right. You know, it's leaning out. It's not right. It's kind of bunk. I'm going to grab some, uh, I have some screws out in the garage. I hope if not then we might be going to Canadian Tire and buying some screws but I think I have some screws in my toolbox in the garage and we're going to actually mount the brackets I just need to mount them to the wall I don't care about mounting like bolting them to the underside of the shelf because the shelf is just going to sit on there I'm going to use the old shelf system I have and then later on in the summer I might upgrade to a bigger board or something but right now I'm just going to use what I have to get the job done and get that damn shelf so it stays this way or perfectly like basically so it doesn't fold over on itself because obviously those screw things that I, I used are not designed to do what they're doing and they're kind of bellowing down now so we're going to go ahead and fix that with uh those brackets that I showed you on the previous vlog and we're going to look for those damn treble hooks they're out there and I want to find them because if I can find them I'm throwing them in my ice fishing kit and we're going to use those this weekend so let's pitter patter have at her and get out to the mother freaking garage I just had to check the mic I wasn't sure if I had it turned on I cleaned off my truck it looks pretty now there's no way in hell I could have driven that truck with all the snow on it. Are you kidding me? Oh, geez, freaking garbage cans in the way. One problem with owning this car, man. Lots of stuff in the way all day, every day. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to move this garbage can 
and I'm gonna make the fatal mistake of opening it. Then we're gonna clean off this friggin' all this garbage that's over here. We're gonna clean all this shit off. But before I make any sort of moves, first thing we need to do is see if we have any screws over here or if they're all in the toolbox. And I have a feeling they're all in the toolbox. Oh Jesus, we're gonna have about to have a shit of lanch here. I should clean off this thing too. Probably gonna do that. Anyway, let's go over to the toolbox and see what we got for hardware. I know I probably have some hardware up top that I can use, but I'm really nervous on screwing those cans and the cars underneath because sometimes they're a pain in the ass to get back up. Sometimes they fall down and hit the car. I think they're above the car. They might not be above the car. Woohoo! Battery's inflating even more. Check this piss out. The old MacBook battery. She's getting gooey. I got a planned video for that. I'm gonna talk to my buddy. We're gonna go up to the firing range and we're gonna put a couple rounds through it. That could be for a funny video. It'll get demonetized, but who cares? So yeah, in that kit, I got these, okay? They're split ring pliers. You can basically you take split rings off of things. But I know for a fact, I also got treble hooks and I'm thinking I moved them over here or maybe they're on the barbecue because that'd be a good spot for them. That's all hardware for the air compressor, which for some reason is turned on. Like I got a random fishing lure here. This guy here is a dollar rama and he caught a freaking walleye. Go trooper. Walleye thought it was a real fish. Walleye are dumb. There's some more lead weights that I didn't like because once you pinch them on, you can't take them off. It's back here. What's this? More garbage? Okay. Okay, anyway, I came over here to see if I had any screws in the toolbox, so that's what we're gonna do. So let's go root and toot through the toolbox and look for any plastic containers that look like they may contain screws. Blades from my scroll saw. Does this measuring tape have centimeters on it? That's another thing I like to buy is a measuring tape with centimeters. Just because they measure the fish 40 to 45 centimeters. And I know all you Americans are like, oh, metric gross. And you're allowed to say that because you guys live in an imperial world because you're an imperial girl and well, whatever. Okay, this is pissing me off. This tape can't go in here. It doesn't want to fit. So here, sit on the power bar. Cool, you got a home now. Go to your home. All right, lift in that one. Miscellaneous drawer. Those screws are way too big big. Those screws are not screws, they're bolts. Problem is I don't have a lot of wood screws, but I do have a lot of metal screws, like for attaching metal bits. And the difference between the two is one is pointed at the end and has bigger teeth so it can really bite in there and get a good hook on the situate. Why am I hanging on to a piece of paper? Freak's sakes. And the, uh, the wood screws have a bigger, bigger thread deepness so they can really grab on and hold on for dear life where the metal screws have a finer thread and don't hold on as hard. Hey, I got a multi here. I wonder if that actually works. Oh, it does. Cute. Okay. All right. So I'm just looking at my shit in here. I got a glue gun base. Oh, I, have, I own a glue gun. Oh my goodness. That's for Knight Rider light. I really don't want to have to go to freaking Cambodian tire to buy some freaking screws. Oh, that's rivets, rivets. Got me for the rivet gun that's in there. Or the rivet gun that's in there, I should say. Got some popsicle sticks, some World of Warcraft cards. I think if I wore this to work as my N95 mask, would let me get away with it? All right, well, piss on a Pop-Tart. These are not over top of the car, so I'm gonna start rooting through them to see if I can find anything that'll work. Piss on a Pop-Tart. Alrighty, what do we got? Anything in here? I really don't want to drive a nail through it. And that's all freaking galvanized nails, so that's no good. Stuff in this one, what's in here? This is all eye connectors for wires and one screw and a voltmeter. Checking your battery charge if you care. Cool, empty, something. It says screw on it. it, sells tapping, it says tapping screws. There's no tapping screws in here. Why come you lie to me? Lie to me for the last time, Gibraltar. These are wall plugs. That's exactly what they are. Wait, are these wall plugs, do they have screws with them? No? Balls. I kind of want to buy hardware to do this job. I'm supposed to be living like a poor man right now. All right, what do we got in this one? Big dirty lag bolts for driving into concrete. Nothing what I need. Some of the smallest little tap screws you ever did see. That's not gonna work either. Some bitch pile of monkey nuts. Guys, we might not have much of a choice here in the matter. Is that on there? Last thing I need is that to fall on my car. Wreck my beautiful paint job. You guys can laugh if you want, it's cool. <laughs> well, shit. Thought I had a pack of short screws in here. Turns out I don't. Let's go to Canadian Tire. Alrighty, let's take a rip over to Canadian Tire, grab some screws. I might go to the dollar store afterwards and just see if they have any sort of uh, insoles for boots that are insulated. I remember I saw them there once, I think it was there. And if they have them, we're gonna grab them for my boots and test them out this weekend when we go ice fishing. Pitter powder. <laughs> Yeah, 
motor home. I went to the Dollar M as you saw, and I also went to Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire didn't spend a dime because I forgot I have points. And at Dollar M, I bought something for scampers because Ori already has one. I bought her a bed that I can put at the top of the stairs that she can sleep in. So if I ever get rid of those boxes, she has a cozy bed to sleep in. And it has walls like Oreos, just not as expensive because scampers tend to pee in things. So if you're wondering why I have this awesome angle happening, it's because the tripod's in the garage. So I did uh, manage to buy some screws. We got these jobbies here. They should do the job, hopefully. Came in here to grab my drill, but I gotta let the dog out, so I'm gonna do that now. I also bought myself another tweaker light. They were on sale for $4.99. They only had the one left in white, so this is white, right? Because they got the green ones too, and I didn't want green because I'm not tracking blood. My other one's fine for that. Then at Dollar M, I showed you the bed. And I got the insoles, but these will be for a weekend video. So I'm gonna grab the screws. Gonna grab my screwdriver. By that, I mean my drill. If I can get to the damn thing. Got some shoes in the way. And let's go out to the garage and mount a shelf. It's funny, I was getting some weird looks in Canadian Tire. I forgot I had this friggin' microphone on me. I just left it on while I was, uh, yeah, I'm using the car as a table. While I was in there, just left it on, you know, doing my thing. People look and they see the microphone and they're looking around for a cameraman thinking I'm pulling some prank shit. Meanwhile, I'm oblivious to the fact that I have it on me. So that was fun. I didn't leave those hooks in the windowsill, did I? No. While I was in Canadian Tire, I looked at a bunch of the other gear in there, the ice fishing shit and other shit and a bunch of shit and a whole bunch of shit. And, uh, that's a good hook. That's one of the hooks. This is one of the hooks from the kit. This is how I know that I got that kit as well. Well, I saw the video, so I know it's true. Girl, you know it's true. I'm just cleaning up a bunch of the garbage and throwing it in the garbage can because there's no point in hanging on to it. Not sure what the heck you were from, but you're probably garbage. Sorry for the awesome angle of the dangle here, guys. Uh, the only way I'm gonna find those hooks is if I go through all my shit. These are both the same, right? Yeah, one's black and one's gray. Probably gonna use the black ones. Probably gonna end up using them both out here and put up two sets of shelves at some point in time, but flyers and stuff back here. You could do a retro flyer day. Oh, our tr- our, our tr tro Quattro. Two for one. Who cares? Garbage. Come on, bottle. Stand up. Dang it. This measuring tape has centimeters, but here's the problem. Oh, wait, here, there's, yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, it's bunged up. I'm just throwing everything that's garbage out. Clear out back behind here. I know those hooks are in here somewhere. For all I know, they're probably in my friggin' fishing bag. Brushes for that low detail, no detail work. More paint. All right, let's clear off this shelf up top. Take all this paint off. <sighs> the fun, the excitement, the amusement. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Some pencils for making Sketches. Don't know why I left them on here. Sharpie. I'm gonna need that to mark the wall. Paint, paint, clear weld. What was I gonna use this for? Probably to cover the bait when I'm done to clear it, to, to seal it. All right, so that can go there, that can go there. Split rings, foil tape, clamp, a big roll of foil tape, and a hole punch. The hole punch is to make eyeballs. I made a video on that, but then I realized I was stupid and I screwed up when I drilled the holes for the bait, I drilled them on the side instead of on the bottom and then just scrapped the entire project because I wasn't paying attention. Now let's go ahead and get these things out of here. So you always got to pay attention, guys. I'm just going to sit that on the bandsaw for now. Do the same with this one. Those hooks aren't up here in this mailbox, are they? My thermal cell refill kit. Okay. Well, I can 100% say the box of hooks fell back here. They found a portal to some other dimension because they're not there no more. So I'm gonna use the gray one, screw it. Duramax. I didn't know Chevrolet made products for the dollar store. See, totally says Duramax. Duramax, it's a Dissel. So I'm thinking, boom, boom. This is what I'm gonna do. Where'd that bag of Sharpies go? Let's see. Let's see if being in the extreme cold makes a Sharpie not sharp. Cool, still marks. Where'd the shelf go? And my level. There. So we marked the wall. Set the shelf back down. It's doing all this work and hope finding trouble. I got treble hooks in my in my fishing gear. Like it's not a, a major issue or anything, but kind of a I hope they put those screws. Oh, they're right there. All right. Let's get this thing open. The one day I don't have my everyday carry on me is the one day that I'm actually gonna need it. Unless you improvise. Holy crap. Oh man, these scissors need to be cleaned. Oh, let's screw it. Let's chop the sea sucker right off. I was looking at all the ice fishing lures and I got some of them. I got some of the jigging wraps and stuff, but there are some other weird ones there that I've never could figure out. Mm, that's gonna be a tight fit. Suck a dick. Let's load the chuck into, or the bit into the chuck. I wish they were magnetic bits, but they're not. Make sure we're 
full speed ahead. So what I'm going to do is line it up so it's just right there. I should probably pre-drill my holes, but... Oh, normally shelves work better when they're, uh, when they're like that. Okay, one screw in. Ah, she's in there. I would put a bottom anchor in, but that's not going anywhere. It's not like we're putting a lot of weight on the shelf anyway. We're just putting some weight on it. Should be okay. Should be super duper in the pooper. Yeah, I just said that. Don't worry about it. Good enough. This is how I should have done it last year. Instead of monkeying around, but I was looking for those brackets and they didn't have them in the store. There we go. It's on there, that's on there. Good enough. Good stuff. All right, and I got four more screws left. I never understood that, why they package screws in packs of nine. The box of hooks isn't underneath this, is it? No, I know I have them around here. It's driving me freaking crazy because my brain is tomato soup from last year. I can't remember shit. All right, so basically that's there. Just gonna fire this thing on top like that. Now she's level, now she's good. Now we can go ahead and load it up with stuff. And she shouldn't sag like she did before. Well, I hope not anyway. All right, there's a double part epoxy. I'm 100% certain I bought that for making lures. I just got these empty bottles for mixing up for, well, pre-mixing paint. I'm just gonna hang on to this Sharpie. I'm gonna leave this one in here, throw that in the garbage, put the reflective tape up top, put the beads beside it, epoxy glue. Can't remember what I bought you for, but I bought you, so you're mine. I'm going there, pack of pencils, just fire that over here, and my paintbrushes. Those can go back there for now. But there is nothing back in this pink. Remember why? Oh yeah, for making uh, for making lures. Okay. Well, stuff on the windowsill here that doesn't need to be on the windowsill here. Yeah, I was looking at the little buddy heater, but then I realized I'm too broke to buy it. And also, I kind of sort of sort of have one. That little heater I showed you on the previous vlog, a little parabolic. So if I want, I can just grab that parabolic and bring it with me and use that in the shed. The only thing I like about the big buddy heater, it'll blast your feet where the little buddy heater is aimed upwards. So it's it's not hitting low and then coming up. Am I sure it's not in this bottom drawer? Yeah, I could have sworn. I was like, oh, I'm going to use this here to hold all my lure making supplies. Oh, balls, I need that. Super glue, uh. the lid for the super glue, for when it's super glue baking soda time. Another pack of super glue. I was gonna take it out of the pack and just sit it on the shelf. So that's a lot better. That's a lot neater. That looks a lot cleaner. Got my rubbing alcohol down here. I'm not gonna put that back up there. I don't need that up there. All right, now for the fun stuff. Now what I wanna do is go through this bag and see if those hooks are in there. So, and this car makes a great workbench table thing holder. You're all spoons. That reminds me, I can put my red devil in here. I already have a couple red devils in here. Where'd that thing go? Well, yeah. did it drop? There it is. All right, so that's all spoons. That's just miscellaneous shit. This is all my favorite shit. My cranks and my rattles and my top waters. What the hell are you? Frog. Dollarama frog I never even took out of the box. Cool. Those can go in the garbage. Another Dollarama frog I never took out of the box. Huh, bunch of jig heads. Shaped like minnows. Whole bunch of uh, discounted two gauge freaking wide gap hooks. Random Senko. Bunch of random soft plastics down here. Well, that's about it for that. The back pouch. Load these things back in and we'll check the front pouch. I have no idea. Like, this is driving me crazy. Like, you know you have something. You saw the video of you unpacking it. Maybe I need to watch that video more and see if I put it somewhere. Because I know I didn't... I, I didn't use the hooks on that bait that I made, did I? Where is that bait? Now I can't find the damn thing. I know it exists because I saw it on the video and I found one of the hooks. So that's a dead giveaway. Just don't ask me where the hell I put it. Like I said, last summer, man, I was not in a good headspace. Not in the side pockets. What's in this front pocket? Probably just loads of soft plastics. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got one Senko in there. We got some flukes here. We got some more Senkos here. Can you tell I like my stick baits? Some more flukes there. Here, fluke there, Senko everywhere, fluke Senko. Some trick worms, some crawfish, some more worms, some more worms, da uh, some heavy duty swim bait hooks, some mustad ultra points, drop shot hooks. I might actually bring those out with me. Some more heavy duty beast hooks. Some cheap two gauge wide gaps. Holy soft plastic boys. Another pack of worms. I don't need to buy lures this summer. Some more, another freaking Sanko. Enough, I got enough swim baits in here to last me a while. 
or worms, I should say. So ozone tube baits. Bye. I got my thermal cell in here. Floats, but yet no box of hooks. Well, my mind is blown. I have no idea where the hell I put them. For that matter, even if they exist, I might bring these out and use them on the ice. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of clicking and clacking. It's my mic hitting the bag. All right, well, piss on that parade. Maybe it's time to clean this off. The house. This can go in the garbage, 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 garbage. It's one thing I wish I didn't have to do is get these friggin' Haggerty magazines from Trans Am. I never read the damn things. Like I have time, I'm too busy researching new techniques for my job. All right. Well, I don't know, man. I don't have the foggiest. That's upsetting. It's like I know they're around here, though. I know it. I'm gonna hang on to that for when we go camping. I got my thermal cell in the truck too, and I got a huge reload kit with that. I doubt it fell down there, but you never freaking know. Because, oh no, that's a hose. It blows my mind. It's not under here, is it? I didn't shove it under here anywhere. It blows my mind, like how do you? Well, somebody did leave a comment saying, Adam, make a longer vlog. So you might be getting your wish. To... This vlog might be a little bit longer than usual. Well, might as well close up the garbage can because we're done in there. I should try these things this summer. I don't even know if they're gonna work. These mega teas. Now that I know how to fish a little better, maybe I can get something to eat it. Definitely, it's not hanging on the wall. Can't even remember the box had a hook on it to hang it off the wall. It's like I put them somewhere. It's not in the filing cabinet, eh? Because I'm bad for that. Ooh, nah, your inches. So many measuring tapes laying around. Oh, <gasps> found one that does centimeters, boys. That's the longest fish you can catch right there. 40 freaking five centimeters. It's gotta be within those little era areas. 15 and a bit to 17 and some. Yup. okay. So we got one thing that's gonna help us out, but like I said, I got treble hooks in there already, so I'm not too concerned. And I'm gonna bring those these hooks here with me on Saturday and or Sunday when I go out. These mustads. I always like mustad. A lot of people don't. Hey man, personal preference. Mustads, I always get the hook up. And I found with the VNC hooks, not so much. The Gary Yatamoto or whatever the frig hooks are, the Yamagachi hooks, they're pretty good too, but man, they cost way too freaking much. And I'm glad that shelf's done because I've been thinking about that for a while now. And I was like, well, I'll do it when the car's gone. But honestly, just do it now. Get it out of the way. Oh, this one has stuff in it. Cool. Oh, man, fell over. Equilibrium. It's not the shot. It's like I tripped by this damn tripod. I had a miss the COVID shot making you all loopy. No, no, it's my natural state. Trust me, I live my life every day. Anybody want a tackle box? Oh, there's my minnow net. I was going to try and use this for smelt fishing, but I don't think it'll hold up, but I'll give it a go. Let's we'll see how bad it goes. We got this place down the road, down 63, where we go smelt fishing. And my buddy's dad usually brings this massive freaking stupid net. And you just sit it in the water for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And then all of a sudden it's, you can't even lift the damn thing out. It's just full of fish. The one year we went out smelt fishing, we filled up four freaking four buckets bigger than that one there that I bring fishing with me to put my fish in. Oh, ooh, that was not a big deal. That was just the, the, the head of my, uh, of my welder. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. I just thought maybe... Was well, there a ladle in here? Is that why I can't open this? I don't know why that's in there. I wonder if my Trans Am has a thermostat on it, so... Just thinking maybe I shoved it in one of these drawers or something. It'd be just nice to have the extra hooks. But I'm sure in my ice fishing gear I got all, all the hooks I'm gonna need. I think I checked that one. We already got one that does centimeters. And it's dollar store! Go dollar store! Coming up clutch for us fishermen who are stuck in the metric system. Okay, I'm gonna check the second drawer. Fuel hose, tire chocks, coloring book for the Trans Am. The hell are you? Component cables. I'm telling you, man, you go through a computer nerd's garage and you find the greatest shit. Oh, there's my old voltmeter. I was wondering where that thing ran off to. Oh, it's my puller, okay. Well, they're not in there. That's more lure making stuff. I'm gonna be using this glitter in my worm mix. I got some purple, some gold, some silver, just to add a bit of fleck. But the hooks are not in here. Stomp jacks, cotton swabs, a lot more friggin' rivets. Like, why am I finding rivets everywhere? What's really going on? Wood screws. I didn't even thought to check in here, guys. There's like eye hooks in here and nails and some. Oh yeah, this is what I used to fix my bike when I bought. Oh, when I was trying to reinforce the um, the old bike thing, this thing. The everyday. I'm gonna put this on my new bike and that way there I can put a cooler bag on the back and have a way to haul shit. But yeah, I ooh, got a brand new USB cable in here. How big are you? Where are you? USB 10 foot. Cool. That's great and all, but where are my freaking hooks? Okay, remember when I said I wasn't gonna clean up my desk or my bench? I lied. Totally cleaning up the bench right now. 
I know they're over here somewhere. They gotta be. Because I'm finding paint over here. I didn't hang them off the wall on. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of shit in here, but not what I want. Oh, an oil filter removal tool. I normally use, uh, I normally use this one. Because you can get it right in there and then put a ratchet on the end and just crank the sea sucker off. See, I got lure making stuff up top. I got lure making stuff on the bench, like paint. My yellow paint, my red paint. Frig are you for? Silicone Noir. I, I got that to put the gaskets on. Crazy glue here, that's more than likely dried out. GoPro Hero 2 case. Seen better days. I'll grab these cloths and throw them out. Grab these cloths, throw them out. I am flabbergasted by this. A battery here for my voltmeter that I lost and recently found. And now I can't remember where it was when I found it. Bottom drawer, I got it. I talk to myself a lot. It's a good part about having the camera on. Anybody questions you, you can just say, oh, I'm just shooting a video. It's partially true. Worst part is when I say that and they can't see the camera. And then I'm just like, oh, well, it's because it's hidden and stuff. Just don't worry about it and things. This just in, it's definitely not over here. I don't know, man. I guess they'll turn up when they turn up. It's when I don't need them. That's when they're going to turn up. You know, it's going to be when I'm, uh, I already bought a new bag of hooks or I ordered some off Amazon or whatever the case may be. And then I'm going to go to open them and then the hooks are just going to come flying off the top shelf and clock me in the face. That's what's going to happen. 100% guaranteed. That's what's going to happen. Because that's how it always is. You don't need it. You don't need it when you want it. But when you don't want it, it's everywhere in your face. Like, remember me? You're looking for me. Remember me? You know what I remember about you? <laughs> Well, there's jig heads over here. Like I really need to, that's a big hook. That's not what I want to use. There's jig heads right here, which I bought for summer fishing to use with worms, which I never worm fish, so I don't know why I have it. Oh yeah, dad gave me this. One of the guys at his work made this for ice fishing, but I kind of want to rebuild it. Or not rebuild it, I just want to drill the holes really big so that they don't freeze up when you're pulling the ice out of the hole. But if I have my heater in there, I don't need that because the heater keeps the ice from freezing up in the hole. No slush buildup ever occurs. So we should be golden. Okay. Well, piss on a pancake, boys. I don't know where those hooks are, but now we have that measuring tape, which is awesome. So we're pretty much golden there. I didn't throw those hooks in the sled, did I? I'm just going to check my tackle box real quick and just see how many... Where are those hooks? Come here. Get over here. I'm gonna put these hooks in my tackle box real quick. This thing was a good uh, a good purchase in Canadian Tire. This uh, htpolartent.com rod holder. They're on sale for $14.99 last year and I scooped it up just because I have the three rods now. I got, um, look at this. Guys, this is great. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Okay, well, with the piss. Okay, that one has a jig on it. My rod is still frozen. Still frozen. I think this is like four pound or six pound test line on this one. And I have no idea what the heck's on this one. I don't even know what brand of rod this is. Berkeley again? I don't know. That's Berkeley. They're both Berkleys. So, and then there's the old small but super strong friggin' heavy action. Is this a heavy action? I hate when they put silver on blue. Hard water, medium heavy. <laughs> and she's got some fluoro onto it. The big dirty jig. I'm probably going to be rocking this one on the weekend. I just gotta fix it because I think I may actually have a bird's nest on this thing. Who in the right mind would use a bait caster to ice fish? Skivens, and who said he's in his right mind? This is the rod I caught my first pike on. Totally thought it was a walleye. <laughs> yeah, there's some tomfoolery happening on the spool here. Let me just go ahead and clean this up. I'm probably gonna rig, rig this guy up with the treble. It's because it's got a faster retrieve. I know I've been talking about fishing a lot lately. It's because I miss... I miss fishing at the point. I miss regular fishing. I miss the warm weather. Winter has its be its benefits, but you know what? I don't really partake in them, so okay. I guess we're good until that happens. Oh, I forgot that about fluoro. I should have bought some ice braid tonight. Fluoro and mono, man. Better memory than an elephant. Do elephants have good memories? Is that a thing? Oh, well, the way I fish, as long as this thing can drop a lure 14 feet, we're good to hammer some guppies. I've seen some of the ice fishing rods that some of the people out there use, and holy piss, man. They're like five feet long. I'm like, what the hell? Why do you need a rod so long? That's what she said. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. Oh, this is actually on terminal tackle, too, so that's good. I'll just put this one back in here. Oh, yeah, I took this out so I can check the tackle box to see what we have in here for... Ow! 
for uh, hooks after I hook myself. So how many trebles do we have in here? Uh, oh yeah, we got a boatload of trebles. Holy piss. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good on trebles. Just gonna load these ultra lights in here and that way there they're with us. So if we decide not to use a treble and just run an ultra, ultra point, and it'll be super awesome. Everything is awesome. All right guys, I'm gonna load those in and I'll check back in with you. Nikki's actually trying to call me. Bye. Who drinks from a sippy cup, sippy cup, sippy cup? Who drinks from a sippy cup? Not me, I don't. So there's Scamper's bed. And while I was chatting with Nikki, Oreo decided he wanted to use it. So he's laying in it and Scampers comes over and she's like, I want to cuddle beside you. And then Oreo friggin' nips her. And then while I'm chatting with Nikki, Oreo and Scampers are having an all out slapping battle. I wish I would have got it on camera, man. Because like they're sitting here on this little landing here and they're fighting away. And Scampers takes to the high ground. And then Oreo's down here and she just launches in the air like Macho Man Randy Savage and totally just slams him and then runs into the bed. Then Oreo bullies her out of the bed. Like I bought that bed for her because Oreo has like the $30 bed in the room. And I figured, you know, this would be nice and cozy for her. No, Oreo decides to dominate it. It's, it's out of my freaking control. Anyway, guys, it's currently quarter after 11. I needed to get to bed about an hour ago and I didn't, but that's okay. That's all right. It's all good. It's all tight. Did you like my burp snart? <laughs> Totally stole that from freaking. Actually, it's funny because uh, Nikki's son always asked me, Can you burp snart? Can you burp snart? So, like, I had a fart in the garage, right? So, I faked the sneeze, totally burped. Or, sorry, I burped, faked the sneeze, and shit myself because I felt the fart was there. So, I'm like, perfect time. I can force myself to burp. That's easy. It's the farting I haven't figured out how to do on command, which is probably good because I taught myself how to burp and now I get the hiccups and I get the hiccup burps where I'm like, you know, it's pretty gross. So, um, the moment I felt the fart, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to burp snart. So I took that clip and I sent it to Nikki and I'm like, there, you can show Max that I can do it. And uh, he'll be impressed. So, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I should probably get to bed. We'll see how I am tomorrow there. The friggin' needle in my arm doesn't even hurt. I don't know, buddy's all like, you're gonna be super sleepy tomorrow. And I'm like, you don't know how much coffee I drink in a day, bud. Cause let me tell you, I drink a lot of coffee in a day. I'll go through a pot sometimes too. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man, frigate just drown your face in coffee so that'll be another day tomorrow uh thinking about doing a live stream on friday which doesn't matter that i'm telling you this because these videos are filmed in advance and i think this one here is going up for next friday so um yeah but uh they're gonna be well if it's going up for next fr no next friday nikki's in town i won't be streaming but i'm gonna be doing a lot i usually do one every second week on fridays because uh, nikki's not here and i won't be drinking because i'm gonna try and hold this fast as long as i possibly can because uh, i'm thinking about basically not eating till that scale says 240 so i got a long way to go and you know what i feel mother friggin fine so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and shut her down here this video is long enough and i need to friggin go to bed and then edit this up tomorrow and get it up to youtube so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did click that like button any questions comments concerns down below they go and on until next time guys live it to win it and peace the frig out Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.